So, hey, da- David, I think your last name is Matejczyk. Is it pronounced correctly? Matejczyk. Matejczyk. I, I was thinking about transcripting it to be easier to English speakers, some, something like Matthew Czech. Or... Of course. The first question, what was your first computer? <sighs> first computer. Uh, first computer I met uh, was PMD85. It, it was, I think, Slovak computer. Oh, first my own computer. Was... But the first the BMD is it like a completely own CPU or was it somehow you know? It's... It had it had keyboard and it used television monochromatic mm-hmm. and we played games in in some building when when we were going to uh, as a children. Yes, and but yes. was it a basic, Z80, 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 Z80 or the, what, what, no? What was it? Ah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay. But the games, but the games where you got the games, were they compatible with other computers or? It, it used basic programs and uh, MC cassettes uh, as a storage, but I don't, I don't remember too much. Okay. Okay. And and you start gaming with it or? Uh, we, uh, it, it was it, uh, it were lessons about programming, but uh, <laughs> mostly we were gaming, but but we learned some basics with basic <laughs> you said we was it at school it was it was after school okay my friend brought me there and we started with something mm-hmm. and my first own computer was t86 d8 uh 286 a 286 okay okay of course this is intel 286 right so yes. it's boring. boring also 286 was less common i think 386 most people started i had the 8086 was the first one I'm old. <laughs> no, I'm older. 8086 came prior to 286. Uh, yeah, yeah. You see? I, I, I remember, yeah. Yeah, um, and what you did? So you started programming or still gaming? Basically both. So what you programmed and why you started? I mean, if you have games, the question is why you why you started, you know, playing? First, I started those PMD sessions with BASIC and... Then when I have when I had my own computer, I started. I, I was. I I remember I remember I was quite annoyed by Gorilla Bus in in DOS <laughs> because okay. it was too slow. So I wanted to make it faster. Mm-hmm. So I t- edited the sources and then I did experiments with that. <laughs> okay. What is Gorilla Bus? It it was two gorillas on on hills and throwing bananas to each ah, other. Okay. okay, what what I thought what it is is like you know an USB bus. So you, you modified you know the bus inside the computer. This was uh, this was like uh, a game, right? Oh, no. <laughs> this was a, a game. game. Okay, it's like a well, Gorilla Bus. <laughs> Never heard about that. It's like you know audio <laughs> bus or whatever. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Okay. And you modified the sources, or the the the, uh, the 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 game was came with basic source code, right? It came with MS DOS, mm-hmm. yeah. And there were sources to and second second game there was Nibbles, okay, those snakes. So um, okay. what what interests me, you know, what was the transition from gaming to programming, basically? So what what you liked? What what were the first games? And what was the first programming language? Right. I had programming on Gymnasium that that was again basic and some basic algorithms and such things. Then games were, you, you know, you you can't edit too much sources in X files. Mm-hmm. So basically, most of the programming I learned on on university. Mm-hmm. So after those uh, lectures about mathematics and uh, philosophy, what, whatever we had those years, uh, physics. And so. Yeah. So, so you and started computer we, science. We started. We started. Yes. Yes. Okay. In, why? In I years. mean, uh, because why you started computer science? Because another option was nu- nuclear and uh, nuclear physics. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but, okay. So there were just but, two options. Just two options? <laughs> yeah, for for me uh, okay. and uh, ele- uh, how, how I would call it, uh, ele- electric science about electricity and, and okay, uh, okay. That, mm-hmm. that was another direction possible after gymnasium. But on gymnasium we had special branch last two years targeting those technical 
things like mathematics, physics, and programming. And then you choose what what you know usually. So I choose this school, and then it started. <laughs> okay. To be more I- intensive and in, into the deep and depth and wide with. Okay, and, and at the university, you enjoy, enjoyed programming? <sighs> enjoyed? Uh, I'm not sure if I would call that. <laughs> it was pretty intensive, and uh, we had to learn many things. Okay. But after after all, when we, when we left the school, many people told that it was worthless. They didn't learn anything practical about coding and developing things, but... After years, you will find that all those things you learned are connected somehow, mm-hmm. and from different school they have they have a uh, different base a bit and mm-hmm. uh, when we are cooperating we we have a bit different views on things, and everyone knows something okay so okay. that that's interesting because. We had very very hard mathematics and uh, those things uh, related. And uh, uh, after years, I I found Im- really interesting f- how how it relates to reliability of the software of any system available. Even even it, it relates even to COVID pandemic and uh, everything is system. So. You see those exponential functions. Mm-hmm. You, you simply look, uh, see see the graph, and you know what will probably happen. You are not expert in epidemiology, uh, in anything like of that. Of course, we are. But, right? but we are expert everywhere. So. No, no. <laughs> but but when I see some graph, I, I simply know it's something similar, like overloaded system. Mm-hmm. I, I uh, in in one company where I worked, uh, we had Spark machines, and they, they were very sensitive to synchronization of threads. Mm-hmm. Uh, that that uh, brought them to the knees because mm-hmm. it, it, uh, village logic. Uh, when you have some information, you have to uh, and you have synchro- synchronized block. Uh, you have to tell another core somehow. Mm-hmm. It takes time. Mm-hmm. And it's it's much more expensive than than running in your uh, thread on your CPU with your memory, of course, of course. and just asking for some objects. Locality but principle, when, right? It's called locality principle. Yeah, principle. exactly. But when you have to tell each other core that you locked something, it Two-face takes commit, time. Commit. Yeah. yeah. So and, and now I'm curious, uh, which programming languages you used at university? I started with Pascal. Then it was Java, uh, Lisp. Which version of Java? Uh, 1.2 was was the first. Oh, okay. okay. So late, actually. You said you are old. 1.2 is, was fresh Java, so you had collections, swing, everything was already there. <laughs> yeah, but it behaved uh, pretty differently than now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I think I even used uh, public fields. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> I, I use it right now, actually. We, st- we were in a project where I said, okay, bef- before we do, you know, the getters and setters, we start with public fields now, and then we encapsulate later, so no problem. I use them right now, so you can kill everyone. Now, record is less less, less needed, but uh, prior to records, I used a lot of public fields. Why not? No. For me, it makes that no difference, a private field with public get on setter or public field. For me, yeah, it's the same. It's the same. yeah, that's... Yeah. But, uh, you know, when when you have 1,000 threads, it's not much oh, safe. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. So maybe um, I have to, to tell you that I'm usually just working on projects and you are building server, so this is complete different consideration, right? I'm using your server and you build this server, so we have complete opposite, you know, design requirements, I would say. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Java, Lisp, Java, Lisp, Pascal. Java, Lisp, uh, Pascal, C, uh, C Sharp. I wow. like wow. C Sharp th- those years, but I didn't touch it <laughs> since then. <laughs> no, C Sharp has actually more modern syntax. It was, it came after Java and, and they put a lot of energy in it. So, yeah. Where well, you started? In Pilsen, in Prague? I started in Pilsen. I studied, studied, studied. Studied, studied in Pilsen. Okay, okay cool. cool. And Pilsen is the, the city where the beer was invented, right? Is it true? Not invented, but there is the brand Pilsen, no? Beer, beer yeah, beer, yes. 
This yes. is the, the Pilsen brand, but, I think. But uh, people around Pilsen li like small uh, brew, small small uh, breweries, breweries mm -hmm. uh, okay. more than than companies. Pilsen. Pilsen. Okay. Pilsen. okay. So uh, you started in Pilsen, and what happens after university? Then I became became employee of small company HSF I, I'm not sure if it exi still exists uh, but I'm s whenever I was I'm still in contact with those people <laughs> okay <laughs> because uh, it's I, I quite like when it's good atmosphere in the team yeah, yeah. so then then things works you can argue with when one and you don't need to have always through mm -hmm. it, it will show later mm -hmm. Okay, and what did you did at the company? I was junior Java developer, <laughs> and I was for I was forced to keep attention on on quality of the code. That that was the beginning. <laughs> wow, as juniors are not bad, right? So I... <laughs> yeah, I I learned a lot. Uh, we tried to use cucumber for testing and mm -hmm. tor torquoise turbine or from apache it's not yeah, uh, apache turbine long. Yeah, exactly it was like a, like a, um this was like a publishing framework right mm -hmm. uh, yeah no it it changed later basically it was something like maybe jakarta e server something like that it it it, it was complicated it it had templating framework from velocity mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh integrated many things together mm -hmm. but then then it died later they, they found other way to do things mm -hmm. and then uh, changed government and uh, the company uh, didn't have too much money so the young youngest person uh, had to leave so I was the second one. <laughs> wow. And I became an employee of um, ICZ in Prague. It, it's quite a uh, corporate company. And they had a huge project with huge technical depth. And there I learned much more than <laughs> I w would expect. Mm -hmm. Even even about about how, how I should work with. I became a leader of, 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 of the team, uh, not not from the management point of view, but but uh, I was the one <laughs> who had the patience to refactor every, anything. What was there to write tests, configure and uh, maintain some bamboo, jira, whatever was related. So it was 10 years where I pushed that, that project from Java 1.4 to Java 8, from Sun 1 to Glassfish. Wait a second, uh, I have to interrupt you. Ah, sorry. <laughs> no, not sorry. I, I have to apologize because it's my interruption. But uh, Turban is alive. Apache Turbine. Ah, I look it up. Look it, up. it is a uh, Apache Turbine web application framework, and it's now on GitHub. Whoa. And the last and commit the last was like 2022, so it is uh, no 22 days ago was it's the last interesting. commit. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the, there are two main contributors, and and uh, it is not you know hyperactive, but they are contributing the entire time actually. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe some project required to run on JDK 17 or something. Yeah, like. interesting. It, the, the, I I. I think those sources uh, weren't bad. They, they I think it. it no, it's it interesting was because I also remember it. Turbine. So you rem I, f um, I remember you no know, Turbine and, and Cocoon back then. There were lots of interesting, mm -hmm. interesting. Uh, Apache yeah. frameworks. So you started at HSF and you were about quality, and then you moved to Prague to what was the name of the company? ICZ. 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 Yeah. And this is like consulting company? Uh, no, it's development company. Okay. They okay. live from software, basically from a huge projects for the state or for the private sector. It they have, I think they have uh, something uh, more than six hundred employees. Oh, still? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see okay. that. Yeah. And, and yeah. so you, you work for the company, you learned a lot, and I said you, you migrated Java projects, right? To a newer Java. And from Glassfish, uh, no, from Sun One server, which was the predecessor of Glassfish to Glassfish. To Payara. Oh, Payara. Uh, finally. It, it was, there were steps between. Okay, so t t t uh, tell me about the project. So it sounds interesting. So what you did there? So what was the project about? It, it's a state project. Mm. 
for uh, maintaining dat data about uh, foreigners. So er anything related to for foreigners goes through that. Okay. So year after year, the load is getting higher and mm -hmm. the application must go with that whole system. Okay. And uh, did, it was Java E, I suppose. Yeah. A and you liked the code or? It was scary when, when I started with 2000 uh, in 2007 and it was much better. Now, now they continue. Uh, they, I, uh, I'm not sure how, how much I sh should make public, but <laughs> it, it well, lives. But the code looks the code better. Looks That's better. what you can tell, right? Yeah. Okay. It, it survived, ever, uh, survived everything, and now uh, in 2011 I started to use SonarCube, so mm -hmm. I liked the former version which showed those graphs, and it, it was something, uh, you know, you are much more happy when you see that yeah. code base, yeah. it, it doesn't grow the, yeah. the yeah. number of lines, yeah. but yeah. it doesn't grow complexity, but it does much more things you know that users mm -hmm. know that mm -hmm. and uh, the technical depth uh, it's it's not something exact but it, yeah, it yeah. it's at least stable or it decreases yeah well, what i did is a similar thing so i like sonaq because why i looked at the interesting graph was the cyclomatic complexity it should decrease and also, you know, if this was my um, refactoring project, the amount of code should also decrease. Usually you can delete a lot of code in older projects. And um, and there was an, another combination which I really like in SonarCube was um, project vert count, I think, mm -hmm. was the, the, the plugin. And, and you could vi visualize Java classes. And I mapped the size of the font to complexity and the color to code coverage. Yeah, and it was the best possible graph or graph diagram. It looked like a word cloud, because uh, you only had to identify big red font, and it's okay. Either you know refactor the class to be simpler, or you write tests. And this, yeah. was, genius this was genius back then. Exactly, you did the same. I don't. I. 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 I think I didn't try VertX or if, if it was the plugin. I, I, now I use for Glassfish just uh, the cloud uh, for free, uh, which mm -hmm. SonarCube has. And I'm not sure if, if there's everything available. Okay. Okay. But so how, how those, how those years we had own installation and we installed anything okay. we found, <laughs> and how, which was useful. How, how long you spent at the company, I, I see that? You spent 10 years. Wow, not bad. So it was like 2017 or what? Yes. And, and the entire time with you know, Glassfish and Pera? There were some side projects, so mm -hmm. I had some experience with Spring. Uh, before that, I used Tomcat and Jetty and so on. But mostly, mostly I'm really experienced with Glassfish. <laughs> okay, so... Okay. What was your if you if you would compare Tomcat to Spring to Glassfish and the uh, code base and what what Basically, your impression I, was? I can't compare current Spring with that. My experience of 2014 or something like that uh, mm -hmm. with Spring was that nothing in configuration works. <laughs> okay. But I I know they they uh, they rewrote those parts already and and things moved so. Okay. Maybe okay. maybe I hit. I, I'm uh, detector for issues. <laughs> Whatever okay. I touch, it, it breaks or <laughs> it must be really robust. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, then then interest me. More. Okay, you spend a lot of time with the enterprise project on Glassfish on Payara. Um, how was the code base in 2017? Was it uh, smaller, clean, simple? You like it? You didn't like it? For all those years, we were we had limited resources. We didn't have enough people, and so on. So we mm -hmm. had to do compromises. But uh, my basic way of doing things is, uh, if if I will if I will start writing unit tests or integration tests uh, and cover even Selenium, we used even Selenium for mm -hmm. JSF and JSP. Uh, uh, it's still more effective than not doing that and trying to integrate new feature mm -hmm. <laughs> into that. So if it takes the same time or even a bit more, it's mm -hmm. it's more effective than not doing that. Okay, perfect. So, so the code was, you like so, the code like base? The code. Uh, not yet, but it, some parts are really lovely. <laughs> and, and was it uh, like pragmatic or in a lot of indirections and translation layers, DAOs and all the stuff? It depends. When, when you do some exports from database for the mm -hmm. client, uh, you don't want to have too many layers in between. Yeah. So the 
easiest thing, thing is to go through the JDBC to the database and push it outside without any any uh, intermediate layers, mm -hmm. no array lists, just streams. Mm -hmm. Okay. But w when you work with the user, which which has some form, do some searches, uh, changes data, then you need validations and some processing to process each request. What 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 it uh, what it means? It it depends on the business logic. Mm -hmm. So it depends. That's my general answer to anything. What happened in 2017? What happened? You quit uh, at ACZ. ACZ. By the way, I looked them up. This is a uh, integrated. What is it? Uh, this is where was it? Integrated software network solution. I see. No, Inter integrated software network solutions. It, tag, it's tagline. Tagline. Basically, they they. Uh, it's HTTP I dot CZ. I'm not sure if. Yeah, group. I CZ yeah, group I yeah. in Prague. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice buildings, by the way. Yeah. It's... Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So, uh, what happened in 2017? So you quit at uh, ICZ, right? Yeah, we ha we had some disagreements, and then about the amount I, of layers. I, I said it, it's it's no no. It's, it was <laughs> about business, and I, uh -huh. I said it, it's it's last drop, and I'm going out. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay. leaving. Then I worked one year for the energy cloud company where I. Started on the, on the green field with what? With what what do you introduced? Uh, they they try to uh, invent uh, some things about solar energy mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, storage of the energy, and they required some system to uh, compute and estimate uh, the best possible. The, the best effectivity of, of, of the storage. So when, when you should storage energy, mm -hmm. when, it sh when it should uh, be used or when, when you should uh, use energy from the grid. Or, yeah, if you have an electric vehicle, the question is when to charge the car, no? when the sun shines at night or whatever. So this is like uh, the balance of the, of the grid, right? And it always depends on, on, on the usage. So mm -hmm. when it's some um, uh, industry, heavy industry, which, which requires just to balance some uh, spices to, to avoid uh, penalization from, from the grid distributor, uh, or if it's a uh, home or a house, uh, mm -hmm. which, which needs to uh, save money uh, or and mm -hmm. again, it, it depends on the consum consumption of the energy. Mm -hmm. And what do you build? In Java, you build something? Yeah, I use JSF, uh, MySQL database, and uh, Pyra Micro. Wow, why Micro? Uh, it was interesting. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah. because I always used the full one. It was fast enough, you know. So this is, uh, I always wondered, you know, what is the use case for the Pyra Micro? Uh, basically, I wanted to try it, and uh, I'm I think it, 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 the application was able to run on, on, on the server and on micro too, so it... it, it okay, it was nicer a bit. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit smaller. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, and you are happy? You mean now or...? No, back no. then, with the, with the, then, with the Pyra Micro uh, and JSF and MySQL. Yes, I was happy. And your because client, client? Yeah, the company? We had a disagreement about contract later. <laughs> ah, okay. Ah, okay. But, but, uh, but business aside, but with, the, with the technology, they were it, happy. It was, happy. It was prototyped. It, it wasn't sold anywhere. But, okay. And okay. Uh, now the team uh, continues with some development, but I don't know anything about okay. it. Okay. You use prime faces? Uh, yes. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, okay. So after one year, so after, another business another disagreement, disagreement would happen then. then. It was 2018, 2018 already. already. Yeah, then was uh, Abra Software, uh, FlexiB, uh, that's software for accountants in, in Czech Republic. Uh, they have, I think they have thousands of users. Mm -hmm. The interesting thing was how, how different was that from the ICZ project, because ICZ project was a system uh, running on private cluster with backups and uh, high availability and everything integrated and uh, really closed in the building and nobody can uh, come to it mm -hmm. <laughs> without permission. And this is 
this was exactly opposite. You had application, you had clouds, you had many clouds, and you had even standalone applications on a user's computers, and it it it, it was working together somehow, somewhere mm -hmm. isolated. Some uh, used that cloud, uh, and some blocks. I I don't know. Uh, mm -hmm. I I can't remember everything, but. That was interesting. They they use Jetty and okay. even custom protocol. Some inside was interesting. Java, Java, I, well, 17, Java, eight Java eight seventeen. Java eight already, right? Java eight. Yeah, very good. Yeah, very good. So, but there was no Payara. There was no Payara. Okay. How, how long is the company? It was again just one year and uh, business basically. Business Agree. Basically, uh, yeah, no, 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 no. It wasn't. This was quite nice. I, I like that, and uh, I fractured some tests, uh, enabled many disabled tests, uh, written by my predecessor, and uh, then uh, I had a call from Andro Michali from Pyara that uh, they would like to bring me to the team. So how I, Andro I had to knew you? Sorry. How you got how your contact? Uh, when I was in ICZ, I tried to uh, make some contact between Pyra and ICZ and okay. to share business somehow. But mm -hmm. Pyra, uh, Glassfish, uh, <laughs> sorry, ICZ manage management uh, wasn't uh, interested in that. Okay, so this is why how how you got you know the contact of Pyra, so a new Ondro. So uh, Ondro called you, and what happened then? Then I came to Pyra. Okay, when okay, 2018, so four, three years? Two years. Two years, okay. Yes, okay. In, in Payara, then we had another agreement. <laughs> okay. Uh, some, somebody told me that I'm another Aryan because uh, I was arguing and I was discussing everything. <laughs> I tried to, when, when, when I know that, that I am right about something, I, I'm really arguing and discussing about that. So ah, I thought like, the Aryan is nice. I had him already on the podcast. He so, is uh, nice. He is if, nice. If he is right, he feels he's right. He would like to convince everyone, right? Uh, yes. Very good. Ex except me, because <laughs> we, also, we, had, also, we had to. Uh, I, I I have exactly what what does Aryan. We we need to discuss anything and to share the the view because yeah, or yeah. or even or at least. Uh, understand each other's view so then, yeah, then yeah. we we can continue and do this to uh, continue with the project because we agree on something mm -hmm. but that's that has to go through some discussion yeah this yeah. is very important so i'm, I'm almost the same except the same if i'm working for clients, for clients. I try it three, three times, and if they, yeah. uh, if, if, they, they if they cannot convince them, I know it's okay. I try at least, you know, to improve the world. the world. And now, and now we can do whatever you like. But uh, uh, this is not this my is opinion, not my but opinion. what I can do, right? Can do and right. Uh, then uh, try, you know, to. So, but if you're right, if you, if as developer, it's very important to convince the other one because otherwise you cannot be motivated to do something which is not right. So, um, yeah, I mean, this is not on. You are not the other Aryan. You are uh, not just another developer, right? So every developer should be like this. Yes, mm -hmm. and Aryan uh, times. I had him a couple of times on the podcast. Mm -hmm. That's what I told uh, people when when I had my own team. I, I now now I am. Uh, <laughs> we we don't have uh, leaders. We are all leaders, and we peer are discussing peer. things yeah. because because no in, single point of failure means, means right now. In, oh, in Omnifish, we are just small company right now, mm -hmm. uh, but. When I had to lead, I, I always told people that they are uh, professionals with with education from the university. They had to behave. They have to behave as as professionals. They had to discuss anything. If if someone asks them and they know it's it's not correct, they have to discuss that and they have have uh, they have to oppose that. Yes. If it's and another thing which is important in my eyes is uh, you know to keep the facts or goal in mind because the next problem in projects you get that the developers would like just to optimize without the reason you say okay this is the direction we are going because these are the requirements and we have kept that there's no discussion about that so if the requirements are changing we can talk again otherwise you know there's endless discussion so it's also important to have a direction so a goal you say, okay this is our direction this is what we are doing because this is then clear and and then you're right the, um, yeah very important yeah i agree very cool. So, Very cool. what happened so, then what after, happened after, after four years, four years uh, three years, you said? Two years in Pyara. Two years. Yeah. Two years. Okay. There was yeah. then, then uh, uh, 2020, right? Yes. 
Okay, two then, years ago. Then a business I disagreement. <laughs> business disagreement. <laughs> <laughs> Again? Again? So you are the, the, you are the big business uh, disintegrator. Dis uh, no, they continue with their business, but just without me. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. It's it's uh, the way of life. Uh, what did you do in Payara? Payara? What, what is your area of operations? Oh, what I did in Payara, I worked with Patrick Dudic on Payara Cloud. Ah, very good. This is a really interesting project, I have to say. So this this Payara Cloud is, is a it, it was a revolutionary idea. Let's okay. let's call it evolution. It's it, it's interesting idea. Sure. Okay, it is an evolution, but if you if if you know the old application servers with the clustering and uh, and applying this this you know this idea to the cloud this I would tell you revolutionary because you you have to get the idea to do this with the application server clustered on premise on kubernetes so this is actually the the interesting part but it always depends what what I would want as as a author of of some application if how large that application how how large how big load the application will need and uh if if i will do another step aside uh i started building uh glassfish and running all tck tests on my own uh jenkins in in avs but wait, wait a second i just wanted to do on payara you work it on the para cloud Mostly, or this is this yeah. Is, this but I, I, I will uh, go quickly to, to the. I noticed that it really depends uh, when you have big load. You always have to take care about latency between server and database, server and file system, and it yeah. depends yeah. how many how many integrated subsystems you have. And I'm not sure if Pyra Cloud is is will be ever to to cover these things. Now, um, what I can tell you, I, this year I, pr I performed a lot of code reviews as well, and uh, nothing to do with Pyra mostly. They're just Kubernetes projects, some run, running on Quarkus and uh, and Whitefly, some of Pyra still, but without Pyra Cloud. And uh, because cloud is so expensive, what I notice is that the most uh, microservices running on a quarter of a CPU. So they are starting with a quarter of the CPU and 256 max. So I would say what you are saying right now is that you need a, a no low latency, big performance. This is true for some projects, but the majority of, of enterprise projects are, are, are very slow and they are working like this. So I would say for this project, a Pyara Cloud would be a st huge step forward because you know they just can deploy it and, and don't care about this. So there are, there are different kinds of projects in the cloud. And um, I would say cloud is just one option. I wouldn't go to the cloud if I don't have to. So um, I would just run you know, my Glassfish Pyara or whatever on a bigger machine on premise, and this is the cheapest possible solution still. But if I have to go to the cloud, then I will use the cloud properly. So this is a two different, you know, two different point of views. Because uh, on-premise is always cheaper than cloud, and cloud is all about costs. Actually, you have to pay for everything. Yeah, cool. So you worked on Payara Cloud, and what what else with uh, with Patrick? With Patrick, and I tried to fix logging system and uh, to integr to write tests with test containers. And in ICZ, I, I wrote even integration tests. And when when user reported something, I had some tools uh, for uh, to to integrate JUnit with Selenium and these things. And it was quite like uh, user reported some misbehavior of of the form in in the browser, and it was uh, sometimes one hour to write test for that. Mm -hmm. So that that was much better than before before yeah, that yeah. you had to click some to to uh, set some data to uh, run it and then you didn't find anything <laughs> because yeah, but, but, but when we when you write test you you once you have some uh, basic scenario you you can customize that in in minutes and mm -hmm. run it again 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 and then you need fast start of the server or <laughs> or re, or uh, pre created domain. But I can see if like you spend that. a lot of time on uh, ICZ and and you know you, you can optimize the system to be more 
how to call it, ob observable, right? So, Observability right. is the key. Mm -hmm. So you know so what's you know, going on inside, so you can better reproduce the errors. So what we usually need is some kind of, I call it, you know, KPIs or business metrics, so you know what's going on inside. So right now in my projects, I'm thinking about, you know, how to log just the relevant things. So make, you know, logs almost readable like a book. Not just, you know, this is the method, this is another method, not like just you know, applying a filter, decorating filter. More like, uh, I would like to see really really convenient, readable for human eyes, you know, what's going on in the system. Mm -hmm. It's a challenge. You've actually spent a lot of time formatting and thinking, you know, not to write too much, not without any information loss. So almost like an art. I, I would say logging is an art, right? <laughs> Yeah, it, it's it like is. It is. it's like writing a story, <laughs> yeah, and, and, <laughs> or, and, and, or newspapers and, and, from the whole story. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And 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 uh, what I spend the time a little bit is you know about the the uh, pattern. So you know how to how to recognize with immediately you know what's what's going on, timestamps, comparison, whatever. So uh, how how to format the line consistently. Yeah, I see this, and and problem is of course it takes time and no. There are projects where there is no time for it, right? You have to produce features, and this is yeah, common disagreement. Basically, what I do with Glassfish, or I did with Pyara, <laughs> first thing when I when I am lost, I'm setting uh, the basic logger level to finest, <laughs> run it, and then uh, using a grab or console mm -hmm. in in KDA in K KDE in 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 Kubuntu, mm -hmm. it's 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 very useful to to for searching in logs. I will find the line and then read what's what's related around. Mm -hmm. That's where I collided with Pyra and Glassfish 6 because when you set that root log level uh, root log level to finest, uh, they will not start. Okay. Uh, that's fixed in Glassfish 7. Okay. And uh, Interesting is that I optimized logging too. So now, uh, without so intensive logging, Glassfish started starts in some three seconds on my machine, and with the logging, it's about four or five seconds. So it's not huge difference related to that. It will print maybe hundred megabytes log. Mm -hmm. Cool. So. You st stopped, you st stopped to work for Payara, and Payara, what happened what after Payara? I started refactoring on Glassfish. So first, first thing for I did was, fun. yeah. <laughs> so so or, it's okay, I quit now Payara, not, not, and now I it, check it, out the code, code, and code. will work for free. Yeah, for two years. <laughs> we were. I contacted uh, Arlian those days, and we discussed that we would like to create <coughs> company and mm -hmm. to bring back Glassfish mm -hmm. and to make it useful <laughs> again, because when I was in ICZ and migrated higher and higher, uh, I was quite comfortable with Glassfish 2, Sun Glassfish Enterprise yeah. Server. Yeah. That that worked well. Yeah. Then I yeah. tried Glassfish three, and it was shit. Memory <laughs> leaks. leaks. This was also this my was opinion. Also I never got you know. Uh, what, they say okay, Glassfish three has to be modularized, and then you know you could start fast, but you take forever you know to load the admin console. It's like what's the deal? I always need the admin console. Then there were memory leaks. So I remember we use uh, Glassfish v three, and uh, over over Christmas we found a lots of memory leaks, and I, I ask you know, there, there's not an improvement. Maybe you can start Glassfish with Java minus Jar, Glassfish Jar, but I don't care. I never start Glassfish this way. And um, But then it got better, right? So I, I did exactly the same, actually, experience. And for me, it was not clear why they refactored the Glassfish v2 this way to v3. This was um, For me, it was more marketing because they wanted to have bootable Jar and everything had to be modular. But I, for me... I say, okay, I'm, I'm just a user. I, I have to use all the modules anyway. So whether you provide me one module or 2,000, uh, I, I would prefer one module. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But th there were interesting things. I think uh, that refactoring was okay. For internal. Uh, no, for internal. For internal for, for internal quality improvement, I absolutely see it. But I, I, I think was, that, that, mm -hmm. there was some direction. And uh, if I will take a look in that direction, it, it made sense sense in yes. some future yes. distance but they collided with technical depth mm -hmm. and i think they finished at some one third of the path so 
and then they stopped. Mm -hmm. uh, and then came Glassfish 4, Glassfish 5, Glassfish 6 now, and uh, not too many things changed. They just upgraded to be compliant with mm -hmm. Jakarta EE, but nothing changed inside. So it was still broken since Glassfish 3. Mm -hmm. And here we came. And Pyra fixed many things, by the way. That's why we use that in, in ICZ instead of Glass. Payara fix a lot of fix things, lot actually. Of they, yeah. they, they, they fix a lot. Kudos to Payara guys, I have to say. So they, 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 they fix, they, they make Glassfish usable. Without Payara, yeah. there would be no Glassfish anymore, I would say. Yeah, I think they rescued even our project in, Glass, in ICZ. Without, without them, we, we will not survive. Mm -hmm. uh, but later, Payara now is... is quite commercial product and which is good which thing it is uh, but i think they they slowed it down with the refactoring too they they tried to be nice to every customer they have yeah but this and is I, I, so so that that's why i started with glassfish and uh, it surprised me that uh, many things are still broken before, yeah, like before Pyara, but some things broken in Pyara are fixed here. <laughs> okay. okay. Or still work. Mm -hmm. So it's it's quite interesting. It's it's really difficult. The, those forks diverging. It's simply said. Yeah. yeah. But I have to say, you uh, have no insights to Pyara, but this is actually no solution for it. So if you have a g paying customers, you have to, to do something, you know, with them. And uh, you, you cannot spend all the time just making the code base beautiful. Yeah. It is just, it's uh, it's just. But if there is no business, then the open source solution would be, wouldn't be viable. So I have to say, without you know talking with you or looking uh, on Payara Insights, if I just saw that the that they have uh, lots lots of customers, they have some customers, paying customers, and uh, only knowing that, I would suspect that they have just producing features and you know, for customers because they cannot be you know the Apple. The, the the Apple, the Apple uh, yeah. creates the features and they are selling to customers. This is always a challenge I see between a project and a product. So in a product, you are dictating the features and you force your customers, you know, to consume them. In a project, you get you know the features from the from the clients, but uh, this is almost unsolved problem. So I have to say, also in my projects, right? So this is always the same thing. I, I do something for my clients, and I say, okay, we have refactor, and this, and and they say, okay, but now, now is no time. So this it always happens this way, right? So this is yeah, like it's, it's like it it's is. Co like it is. it's complicated, very complicated. Very complicated. Okay, you you, ha you have uh, you have to think about the future of the project, but you have to think ab yeah. about yeah. customers too. So and responsibility. Uh, Ability, you know, that, for, that, the you know, for the employees and, and stuff like that. I, I'm not saying that Pyara is bad. No, I just wanted to not, clarify. Not, not so for, for, for me, because uh, they, uh, if I would create my company, I think I would get the same problem. <laughs> this is yes. really hard to, to, to solve. Also, currently, Pyara started moving very fast. So they are, I think they are compliant with Jakarta E10 and now they are started fixing th things too. So we are a bit concurrent, but we are diverging even uh, in the meaning of features. So okay. it, it's okay. interesting. So now you, you, you are saying you are we, saying we didn't clarify what we are. By the way, uh, the, episode the episode 184, 184 is an interview is a, with Arian, with Arian Times, Times, Piranha Headless, mm -hmm. Apples Loaded with Maven, and, and back then I had an Arian um, Ozo. So now uh, the so now, listeners uh, the can, you know, look up the episode, the episode so, so they will know, they will know how, nice how nice or not nice, nice Aryan actually is. Actually and uh, and Aryan and you in one company, this would be terrible. So you are discussing the entire day something, right? Then you are convinced and they go to sleep. And this is then the next day. <laughs> Eight hours discussion and then, you know, go to sleep. No, we, no, we no. are discussing things online and uh, <laughs> then we, we are... We, we With we a are, timer. We, timer. Usually... You, Usually we, we don't have conflicts. We we oh. uh, mostly agree on things, but sometimes we have different view, and then we have some agreement uh, what to do next, <laughs> and what, what not to do. Yes, exactly. We yeah. are fixing each other's mistakes. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Same, so um, same you started with Ariana company. Or what happened? So you said you did for free for two years working. So what, is it a joke? So you started you know to fixing glassfish for fun. Or, or what happened? It was something in between. It was partially for fun, partially with some distant thinking about uh, how to monetize that okay. <laughs> later. Okay. So we uh, offer support for Glassfish 
uh, and uh, who is we? Omnifish. Who is more Omnifish? Omnifish is company created in uh, April by me, Arlian, and Andrew Michali. Wow, Th- uh, three gurus, I would say. Um, uh, ja- I know Andro well, and uh, yeah, I had actually all of you were on the podcast. The Andro was episode 160, modules are needed, but not uh, easy. It was Andro Mihail, Mihali, and uh, now you. So cool. So the entire company, Omnifish, was on the podcast, yeah, XFM. <laughs> we will uh, grow, uh, probably. <laughs> so yeah, don't maybe, grow too fast. This is what I hate, you know, the grow destroys everything, uh, usually. <laughs> so uh, in April this year, so it's a young company. Mm-hmm. And, uh, okay, you, you are three developers, and, and what, what you are currently improving on Glassfish, or what's the goal? Or, the, or, or your, yeah, how to call it, the uh, release schedule or whatever you have, the plan. Re- release schedule is uh, Eclipse things. We, we are not owning uh, Glassfish. Glassfish is owned by Eclipse. Okay. But okay. We, are, we are the main contributor now. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think we will release Glassfish 7 soon, but we, we are saying that <laughs> for too long. <laughs> But uh, now uh, the blocker is admin console. You mentioned mm-hmm. that uh, because admin console was written with technologies which are not compliant with J- current JSF and CDI. What was the framework called? This was nice name. Uh, this was the Woodstock. How? How? Woodstocks. Woodstock. You know, Woodstock JSF from Sun Microsystems with NetBeans Visual Editor. You could use the exactly. I didn't know that. Yeah, even. yeah. You could use uh, the Woodstock JSF. You could. Uh, there was a NetBeans uh, visual plugin, and you can you can visually edit the the JSF. Nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are you using I, using NetBeans? I, I, all, I use Eclipse. You use Eclipse. Yes. Uh, you are from Ch- Czech Republic. I mean, <laughs> what's wrong with you? Yeah, I, you don't I, like Pilsen. <laughs> you don't like you know Czech technology. <laughs> Uh, I, I have nothing against Pilsen. I, I no, no, but you are too. not using them. But, I mean, this is... Yeah, no, but no, no, small breweries are better. <laughs> yeah, Jaroslav Tula yeah, will come to you and ask you, know, why you are not using NetBeans? By the way, NetBeans 15 is great. Really. No kidding. It's really, really great. And I actually... I don't know why. I, I had to build the Glassfish from sources with NetBeans. It was not a problem at all. I forgot mm-hmm. why. I, forgot I had to, to create a release and, and it worked out of the box with NetBeans. I, I, I yeah. actually yeah. load all the code, which was Maven. Yeah. First thing, what I did on Glassfish uh, was that I executed one bash script I created years ago, and it RM remo- minus RM minus. No. <laughs> 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 it, uh, but it, it was uh, really like uh, chemical poison or something. <laughs> <laughs> it, it removed uh, all rats. <laughs> It removed all tabs from the code and all trailing spaces. Wow, that, wow. this is why you are the biggest com- the contributor biggest to Glassfish. <laughs> with yeah. the tricks, you know. Yeah, yeah this was it's, like, it, you know. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it, it's not the only thing I did. <laughs> <laughs> then you added them again the next day, you know. And after a few days, you became the... No, became no, the, no I, I set check style plugin, so it okay. Pre- okay. prevents PRs with, with this. <laughs> cool. So, but uh, yeah, so uh, it's it's important because when you refactor things and yeah. then then Git has some issues when, when it notices code differs in, yeah, in the white spaces yeah. before yeah. after methods and you have large classes mm-hmm. it's, it 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 has issues with matches. Okay. So okay. So what interests me is omnifish. What 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 there is going so what do you like, like to see glassfish in 5 years, five years. or omnifish or release. release so what so is the technology is this going to be stayed that way or different or what's 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 your big idea i mean uh, fixing logging is one thing but beyond that yeah uh, i'm i'm rather i'm not the visioner who is the visioner good, but uh, probably Ariane and Andrew. Okay. But okay. but I am like a dog. <laughs> I smell something and okay. I okay. do in the correct w- okay. direction. Okay. So, so we, we can all, summarize all my all my, all my, pr- fish. All my fish are two visionaries in one dog. <laughs> this is the company, right? <laughs> One one thing I have to mention: uh, all my projects arrive. <laughs> okay. What I wanted to say. What are you are smelling? What I am smelling? Yeah. Uh, 
uh, technical debt. <laughs> okay. No, of course. But um, I mean, well, I mean, one thing. Uh, yes, what I'm smelling in five years. Uh, no dog smells things in two, in five years forward. <laughs> but uh, what I would like is to have uh, fast, stable, and uh, uh, platform able to run in clusters uh, mm -hmm. on cloud uh, with. All those things wor which worked in Glassfish years ago, like high availability uh, and, uh, you know, you, you can set load balancer and it, it will cover these things. Because, as, as you said, uh, the cloud is about price, it's, it's, yeah. it's about yeah. effectivity. So, it depends uh, what you need right now at, at the moment to cover whole load and uh, to reduce costs of that. Mm -hmm. So if if I would have an e-shop in Czech Republic at night, there will probably not be many customers, mm -hmm. but in the day it may be hundreds more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what I would like to do if, if I would have really huge e-shop like eBay or something like that, uh, I would like to have maybe 50 instances and they would be capable to cover any load yeah. with some limit on costs. Cool. And at, at night it would automatically reduce all those instances. Mm -hmm. Turn it off, oh, destroy all AVH, yes, auto scaling. Mm -hmm. And it's not so simple. <laughs> I, and I don't, you know, I, I don't mean just glassfish, but I think that's the, that's the direction we can go. Good direction. Good direction. So greetings to the other visionaires. Greetings to them. And uh, it was really nice to meet you. Where, where people can find you on the internet, you know, Twitter account and your blog, if you have something. D M A T E A J, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> this is this is, this was your uh, first, first, first letter of my name and Matei of my surname. D M Matei. Okay. okay. Yeah. This is Twitter. This is GitHub. Twitter. That's Twitter. Uh, GitHub the same. The same. The same. And Omnifish uh, on Twitter. Is Omnifish. Omnifish is on Twitter too. And can and also people? Like how people can you give you money right now? Can can the companies hire you, buy support, or how how to get? You can you can buy support from Omnifish, and you can buy even services from Omnifish. Services means services consulting. Means consulting, yes. Yeah, that's very so good because you are. If you have if you have any predecessor of Glassfish, uh, or and you would like to migrate to Glassfish Seven in in near distance, mm -hmm. you you can ask us to help you. Yeah, and as means, and as uh, means you, uh, are you are committer of Payara. Payara. Ondro, Ondro is absolute, is absolute committer of Payara. Of Payara. And Glassfish, of course. Glassfish, of course. Glassfish, of course. You are committer of Payara. You had to, you had to right? We right. we are we are not committers of Payara. No, but you, but you were. But you were. You were, you yes. were in Glassfish. Now you are part of, uh, committer of of um, of Glassfish, of course. And Aryan Times is also committer of Payara and Glassfish, but he also created the Java e security co-created the, the entire spec. So uh, he is actually, so I would say, if someone would hire you for security consulting, it's also possible because you know you, you know exactly how Java security is working, right? Yeah. Cool. Cool. So I would say, I would say enjoy, enjoy microbrewers. microbrewers. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. What do you want to do there? <laughs> no? you. Your last words? Uh, last words? If, if you would uh, need some help or discuss something, just... Ask us on Twitter or somewhere. You 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 have pretty much uh, ways to reach us. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, perfect. Thank you a lot. Thank you a lot. Thank you.